Let's keep on showing the flexibility of the new searches that Curator introduces uh, with version 7.2.3. So in here we have a report where we get uh, the global username, I and mean, this is the full name. Uh, these are the events that the user uh, actually executed. These are the number of those events. So, for example, 273 successful network logons. This is the first user ID used for doing that. This is the serial number of the user and the manager. So this is uh, so things like the full name curator doesn't see, nor the u the the serial number of the manager. Well, we get those from reference map and reference table. And how do we address those? Well, in here. We have a reference map, basically a many to one, in which when we give them a username, which is what Curator sees, we get the full uh, uh, actual name of the user, uh, which is what we put in here. Then uh, the event name, Curator gets and puts that as event name, and again, between quotes, because there's a space in the name of the column. We count all those events and show them as event count here. We, we put the first user ID used for the login here as user ID and we use um, reference uh, sets one is to uh, one that for a given uh, username we get the, in the employee data reference set we get the serial number of him and that's what we put in here we also uh, get the managers in the same way this is another reference set uh, the, actually the same reference set but when we put the global user we uh, retrieve the manager's name and these are for event this is not from logs like from flows like the previous uh, search that we did and when the user ID, user uh, global user is not null meaning that we don't have a null we have a name for him we group them by global user by event name or there by event count descending for the last one day. Okay, we've seen this before, but we're gonna play somehow with this. And let's say that out of all these users, we only wanna see the events for uh, John Smith. So we can actually inject here another clause that says, and we're global user. And notice that the look ahead finds that for me equals John Smith. So let's uh, run that query. See what we get. We get as we expected all the events for John Smith. These are login, logon, logon. This is a DML command and login failures. But let's say that I now want only the events that, that are related with login, logon. So I'm going to add a clause here. So I put here and uh make it pretty let me put a space there and it's a event name what we are looking for so we need a quote because there's a space an event name instead of putting equal i'm going to put like and i'm going to use a matching wildcards for the word log so i want everything that has you know log so if is this if i did this correct everything but this dml should stay the dml should go out because it doesn't have that in the event name so i click search and as i expected i only get uh, on uh, those events but let's say that i want to get all those all the events so they are like you know like 1200 adding all these events together i want to see them all well all i need to do is eliminate some of that uh, grouping so for example, uh, this group in here, we are going to eliminate, and we're going to eliminate the event count as well. We take care of that, and this uh, count we do not need, and in fact, we don't need the the first user used for login. We can leave it there, but you know we can take it out let's take it out and we run the search and we get you know yeah those you know, 1200 uh, uh, individual event and if I don't want that serial number because the serial number is the same I can you know just eliminate that column as such 
and, uh, and that's the result I should get. So I click search and I eliminate that column. So it's very easy to play. Again, the sky is the limit for the flexibility of the new uh, searches.